Vin- is this just your fan fiction? Memories. Yeah. Joel, I'm, then... Like, I don't like making fan fiction, details but I'll do it like his this way. video game memories. Then, uh... D- I'll say do it in character. Fuck. And make yeah. the story yeah. funny. <laughs> uh, throw in a classic internet meme to boot. Psst. Joel explains memes now. <laughs> I'm just going to explain generically anyway. Hey Joel, what's your all-time favorite video game? And who did you enjoy playing that video game with? Well, Ellie, I gotta say, it's hard to pick just one video game. But I have to say, I really liked The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Wow, that game had me hooked from the moment I first picked up the controller. Why did I pick Zelda? That's interesting. I liked playing it with a buddy of mine. His name was Bill. <laughs> he did not know Bill back then. He did not know Bill. He was as tough as nails guy and always grumpy. We used to sit in the basement holding around the TV trying to figure out those dang puzzles in the game. One time we were stuck in the water temple. You know how everyone complains about the water temple? We have just we were spending hours trying to navigate those flooded halls, flipping switches and raising and lowering the water levels. It was frustrating as hell. But we we were determined to conquer it. Suddenly, Bill looked at me and said, Joel, you know what? This would make this whole thing easier. (laughs) We need the Irma Guard meme to guide us. (laughs) I looked at him puzzled and asked him what the fuck he was talking about. He pulls out his phone and finds the Irma Guard girl meme and says, look at this girl who has the power to make things easier. We just need her to help us with the water temple. We both burst out laughing because it was hilarious. <laughs> With tears of laughter in our eyes, we decided to make up our own meme version of Link. <laughs> we drew a ridiculous picture of Link with a speech bubble saying, Er my girl, where's that damn key? <laughs> we struck it in the wall in front of us and pretended it was our guiding light. Surprisingly, it actually worked. Maybe it was the laughter or the sheer ridiculousness of the idea, but we started to breeze through the water temple like it was nothing. Every time we got stuck, oh, fuck. we no. look at our home. No. I'm trying to read a story here, Casey. Sorry, I'm gaming. I'm trying to read a story. You're gaming. I'm chatting. Game That's the thing that we do right. together. I, you game, I chat, and then sometimes I game and you chat, <laughs> and then sometimes you chat, and I tell you to shut up, and then you suck me off. <laughs> You don't have any money! (laughs) In the end, we defeated the Water Temple, defeated Ganon, and we had the Irma Gerd meme to thank for it. One of my fondest video game memories, complete with a classic internet meme. (laughs) And then Ellie's just like, what the hell are you talking about? (laughs) Okay, how about next time I say, like, someone describes something, make sure you say briefly. Okay. Yeah. Keep it. I'll say. Add it. Keep it brief. Make it funny and yeah. keep it brief. Uh, keep it underneath two paragraphs. Yeah. Joel describes to Ellie. Describes to how Ellie. to how um, to uh, how to what, Casey? <laughs> how to what? I didn't think that far ahead. Keep it PG. <laughs> Don't swear. <laughs> Don't swear. <laughs> oh, it's a duck in there. Nice. Duck, duck, goose. I want to get the duck. All right. Joel describes to Ellie how he wants to get the duck. Joel describes to Ellie. Uh huh. How to uh ah uh, how to come uh, up with a good hypothetical. Ex- <laughs> yes, do that. Do that. What? Make it short. No, that's terrible. Uh, Joel describes to Ellie how to start a Let's play Play channel. (laughs) Briefly. Uh, Okay, Joel. Hold on. on, Wait. I'll I'll make sure it knows from the last of us. Describes to Ellie how to start a Let's Play channel. Make it funny. (laughs) Keep it brief. Uh, less. Then 
two paragraphs. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it gives us anything Look. for that. Ooh, a button. All right, Ellie. If you want... <clears throat> All right, Ellie. If you want to start a Let's Play channel, here's what you got to do. Yeah, no, it's just explaining the steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, hang on, hang on. Sit your cute self down in front of the TV. You would not say that. <laughs> Play the game and talk like you're commenting. Like a giraffe oh, doing I got ballet. One. I got one, I got one. What? Yeah. Edit out all the embarrassing moments like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Where you fall off cliffs, get your character stuck in the wall, or get lost in the level. I got one, I got one. I, got I think it's calling one. me out. I got a real good one. Okay. Okay, so... Joel from The Last of oh Us... Oh my gosh, Joel from The Last of Us... ...goes to confront David, the cannibal. <gasps> but... It turns out, instead of the character David, it's Herbert the Pervert oh my from God. Family Guy. Hold on. So Joel... Yeah. Joel from The Last of Us... ...goes to con... <laughs> Hold on, I'm using the tap to talk. Goes to confront David the Cannibal. To however, save Ellie. to save Ellie. However, it turns out to be Herbert the Pervert from Family Guy. Hilarity ensues. <laughs> Keep it brief. Under two paragraphs. <laughs> All right, this better be good. Joel cautiously makes his way through the desolate building, determined to confront David. He rounds the corner immediately, <laughs> ready for a tense showdown, tense only stuff. to come face to face with Herbert the Pervert from <laughs> Family Guy? <laughs> Question mark? Biddly biddly bing da doink. <laughs> Joel's confusion quickly turns to hilarity as Herbert starts spouting his infamous lines and awkward advances. Joel can't help Joel? it. Yeah, to Joel. <laughs> He's a little bit old. Yeah. yeah. Sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. Um, so Joel's great. confusion quickly turns into hilarity. Oh, wait. I already read that bit. Joel can't help but burst into laughter. And uh, he's thrown completely off guard by this bizarre turn of events. Amidst the absurdity, Joel manages to compose himself and says, Well, this ain't the confrontation I was expecting, <laughs> but I'll take it. This ain't the confrontation I was expecting. I was expecting the cannibal guy. <laughs> Wait, he doesn't, he never, he never knows David in the show. Yeah. I mean, not the show, I mean the, the game, yeah. And the show. It's now... The Herbert put down that creepy smile. <laughs> now Herbert, put down that creepy smile and let's have a chit chat. <laughs> and so a hilarious encounter unfolds as these two unlikely characters try to navigate their way through this comedic situation. <laughs> That's so dumb. Jesus Christ. I love how the robot's given like a, a tight squeeze to. Ah, All right. Fine. Oh, fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna call out the robot and say, it's not funny if you say it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bot. Fuck you. <laughs> this is not the cannibal that I was expecting, but hey, Herbert, I hope you're here for a chat and not something else. Wink, wink. <laughs> Joel tries to keep a straight face as he navigates this awkward encounter with the unexpected presence of Herbert. They literally just took out the bit where they said it was comedic. <laughs> no, they still say it's a comedic distraction at the end. Oh, God. Didn't even listen to me. Didn't even take my feedback on board. <laughs> uh, I, 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 went, I was, I was a, a kid and I was, at, yeah. I, I was at my father's like workplace or whatever. So I was out in the parking lot. It was like a dump, basically. And I saw a car just parked there. I thought it was just trash. So I went into the car and I found a bunch of coins in the in the, the glove box. <laughs> and I took them. And then later I realized, oh, I just like robbed someone. <laughs> oh no! You, you realized after the fact it was just yeah. like, oh, oh no. Yeah, I was like, Wow, oh. this one is brief. Hey Bart! Look what I found in your dad's car! Well, Melhouse, is that a dirty magazine? <laughs> yeah, and it looks like it's been through some tough times. Ew! We should ask Dad, oh. Homer, 
<laughs> why, why he keeps his stuff? Maybe he has an explanation. Later, in the Simpsons' living room. So, so boys, what brings you here? <laughs> yeah. We found a magazine in your car, Mr. Simpson. Yeah, Dad, care to explain? <laughs> oh, uh, well, you yeah, that? Well, you see, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, research. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a scientific study on the correlation between donuts and, uh... Donuts and what? Human anatomy. Can a donut be a girlfriend better than a churro? I just... I think it was trying to imply that Homer fucked a donut. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he stuck his dick inside of a I'm donut. Saying. Oh, I was referencing Smosh. Oh, really? Yeah, food they battle. Food Remember battle food battle? The one of them was the donut as a girlfriend. And then one of them tried to, like, fuck a ch and, and, chipotle and, burrito. And uh, I think uh, Anthony had the donut. He fucked it and he was happy. But yeah. then Ian... His tiny penis he, he fit, fit the in the donut hole. And he's like, he doesn't want to stick it inside himself, so he loses. Have you ever, like, uh, overheard conversations of girls, like, talking about what they would do if they had a dick for a day? No, I haven't. And they would... No, oh, really? Never? No, never. I, like, you've never overheard that conversation once? No, but I... <laughs> I have it in reverse. There was what? A guy, there was this really straight dude in school. And yeah? He was like, if I woke up and I was just a girl for one day, I'd go get laid. And I just said, That's, <laughs> that sounds like... You could do that now. That sounds sus. You could do that, like, without being a girl. You don't have to be a girl to do that. Exactly. <laughs> you, can, yeah, you can just kiss your bros on the <laughs> mouth. It's fine. I do it all the time. <laughs> don't tell people. Don't, don't tell people don't, about that. I can't find the secret area. I have to find the TV again. <laughs> But yeah, so like a lot of girls were like, man, I'd see how many donuts I could stick on that bad boy. Or they, they say like, oh, I'd just do the towel trick or the, the helicopter. Uh, you know the helicopter? Yeah, I do it often. It's something guys do often. It's, it's basically People just tradition. Do it just like, we, we all meet up in an alleyway on like Saturday <laughs> night. <laughs> helicopter dick. Helicopter dick. Do a bunch of chick. Do the helicopter dick. Detachable penis. Um, Secret cave. Really? For science? Uh, absolu <laughs> uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm dedicated. Ooh, I'm a dedicated researcher. I even have a control group in these uh, uh, in the fridge. Don't worry, boys. It's all in the name of advancing human knowledge. Uh, Homer wouldn't talk like that. No. Well, I can. Uh huh. Think. Yeah, Dad. Sure it is. Just keep that research away from Principal Skinner. What? What does that mean? <laughs> Don't what not, do you mean? It's an AI. It can't interpret things, Freaker. Like, it's gonna make a few mistakes I don't interpreting if, I things. I understand if they were talking to Marge, but Homer's not like fawning over <laughs> Principal Skinner. Yeah. Do you think Marge would cheat on Homer, Homer with Principal Skinner? And she almost cheated on him with Flanders. Ned Flanders. Yeah. Uh, th there is actually a meme of like you know the the picture of like him with the blur in the shower yeah, with the yeah. blur like big cock. They actually did a like measurement comparing like yeah. the full size of his body uh, with like the length of his dick, and they they did like the mat pat and figured yeah, out yeah, what yeah, his yeah. exact like penis length would be. Double the horse size almost. Double horse size. Why did I put that sound clip into the universe? Jesus Christ. Um, Double, t two horsepower. Good thinking, son. By the way, uh, uh, by uh, the way, by the way. I, no I, need I, I, to. I, 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 by the way, if, um, Ooh. so if Lisa Ooh. edited that blur into the video. <laughs> Lisa she saw, seen she saw the unedited video. <laughs> That's terrible. It is terrible. Remember the episode where, like. Think of that. Remember that episode where, like, Ned, um... Farted. He hosts, Shit. like, two, like, girls at his house, and they, like, start a webcam show. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> in his, yeah. like, house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then Bart, Bart sees and it. Milhouse see it. Yeah. They, they are exactly the types that would type in sex.com into, like... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My friend, yeah, my friend in primary school entered sex.com into his computer <laughs> and then started crying when he couldn't get it out of the history. Yeah. By the way, I remember I was at his house. Recently? No, oh. no. This was like when we were still children. And we were sitting in the lounge and the computer was in the lounge. His dad was on the computer looking at Paul. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever walked in on your parents like... No, no, never. never. And I'm so happy. That's good. You're probably one of the few who's like actually had a pleasant like lived experience. Wait, you've of walked not in the... on your parents on the job? No, no I have not. 
However, I do know someone in my family uh, mm -hmm. who walked in on yeah. a male relative uh, looking at the computer, uh, and they, they could never look at each other my, ever again. I've, I've been walked in on uh, by a friend, um, my, my brother's friend, Yeah. and I'm like, get out of here, and he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's like... Quickly, I'm not finished! closing Sonic porn. Sonic?! <laughs> Dang. That was the worst part. I think the funniest thing is like those uh, TikToks of like, oh, I was like borrowing my little brother's computer and like the Google search popped up of just like, girls kissing, Sonic yeah. girls kissing. I remember there was on my Private YouTube, Five on Nights my, at Freddy's on kissing. My, on my YouTube channel I went into the- someone left a comment. Yeah. And I don't know what the comment was, but it was obvious- it was, the avatar was a child, so I went to their profile. Oh god. And one of their liked videos was how to have sex with a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. So the kids liked videos was like that. Yeah. Jesus. It's like, where are your fucking parents? Well, my parents didn't do a good job either. I just love that video of like the guy who's like doing like a, a screen recording of his phone or something like that. But it's like, it, it keeps glitching and keeps minimizing and he's just like, oh man, it's, it's just like, this is just fucking ridiculous. And then it just cuts to like, him with the open Google tab of just like two girls kissing and it's just like, oh no, no, no. Because <laughs> it kind of like keeps opening and closing and like showing different tabs. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I'm trying to figure out. The boys exchange glances and burst into laughter as Homer's hilarious explanation leaves them both entertained and bewildered. Another peculiar moment in the wild worlds of The Simpsons. <laughs> Proving that Homer's creative justifications can turn even the most awkward situation into comedic gold. Every time I yeah, write make it's it- like, yes, this was funny. <laughs> every time this I say make funny. it- Every time I say make it funny into the prompt, it just responds at the very end with like, This was funny. <laughs> Like, I guess, but you don't really get to decide this as an artificial intelligence. It's like Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy trying to explain a metaphor. Drax? You've never seen Guardians of the no, Galaxy? No, I haven't. I, I'm not he, a... Basically, his whole gimmick is he doesn't understand metaphors. And that's like a reoccurring joke in the trilogy. Honestly, I would say it's a perfect trilogy of movies, hands down. I heard people didn't like them. What? Why didn't they like 3? I don't know. I just heard someone say they didn't like it. So well, I, I think it was the perfect trilogy of movies. And you can suck on that random internet person. I think the perfect trilogy... Back to the Future. Back to the Future was, was the perfect was trilogy. literally about to say that. Yeah? Yeah. Everyone says like, oh, the, you know, the, the trilogy is reserved for things like Lord of the Rings or Star Wars. It's like, I didn't like either of those franchises. The only good trilogy is Back to the Future. And you can you can pull your pants down and call me Susie on that My one. My favorite game trilogy probably Uncharted. What? One, two, and three. That's a good game trilogy. You want to play it on the show? I definitely do because I love it. All right. It makes me happy, happy, happy. Do you have one of those like wires that like makes like old PS2 games look clean in HD or? Oh, I don't. I don't. It's not a wire. It's like you have to mod the system. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you want to just do it on an emulator? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Can you rip discs? I don't know, maybe. We can't I've done it play before. PS3. Yeah, we can't? Has no, that not been. We have to. <gasps> we, it's on PS5, don't worry. Okay, yeah, we can we can do it on PS5. Like, I have it installed right now. Do you have, a, do you have another interesting prompt that you want to do? Um, I'm just trying to figure out where oh, to go. Oh, I know, I know what to do. Yeah. Casey and Mitch. <laughs> Two. Wait, I think I might have already like done this one before. Two friends that like to make Futurama and um Simpsons. <laughs> Simpsons. Simpsons references constantly. References constantly. Get interviewed by Rove McManus on no. Rove Life. Oh, maybe actually, I might actually do that. Get interviewed. On Rove Live, um, I was gonna I was gonna do the like we buy a monkey prompt again, but uh, get interviewed on Rove Live. I don't know if it's gonna know what that is though, because it's it's a an Australian, Australian exclusive. Uh, an Australian talk show from the 2000s. Australian talk 
show from the 2000s. <gasps> I found the 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 the, the Casey pooper. briefly talks about his <laughs> new monkey named <laughs> My new monkey. Fred. Um, anything else I can throw in there? I don't want to say make it funny because then it's gonna like <laughs> tell me this, this is comedic is gold. So this is funny. Yes, it I just wrote funny things. <laughs> I wrote a funny thing, and Fuck. it was hilarious. And you and everybody laughed and and did the clicky thingy that people <laughs> do at poetry slams. <laughs> oh no, brown bureaucrat! All right, I'll just do that as the prompt. That's just how it is. Welcome back to Rove Live tonight. We have Casey and Mitch, two friends known Rove for their Rove tonight. <laughs> Shut up. Two best friends who are known for their constant Futurama and Simpsons references. <laughs> it's great to have you on the show. Thanks, Rove. We're thrilled to be on the show. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to tell you that I got a new pet monkey named Fred. He's a real character, like that time Bender turned into a wear car in Futurama. <laughs> I'm just saying something that happened in Futurama, not referencing it in context. <laughs> yeah, there's no specific uh... context to it. Except Fred doesn't transform. He just steals my socks and eats all the bananas in my house. What? And then Mitch is like, oh, the yeah. Oh, the Fred the monkey? Fred the monkey does. <laughs> What? There's a cartoon, a Flash cartoon called Fred the Monkey. Really? And it's a Homestar Runner like. No, I, I, I called him Fred in the thing because you said uh, in one of the previous episodes that we should have a monkey named Fred. Yeah, because Fred the Monkey. The Homestar Runner ripoff. We keep telling Casey to watch, uh, the planet, watch out for a Planet of the Apes scenario. You know, where the monkeys overthrow humanity and all that. <laughs> and hey, as long as Fred doesn't develop a taste for beer and start quoting Bender all the time, we should be fine. <laughs> and then Rove laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Sounds like you guys have quite the adventure going on with Fred. Now let's dive into some Simpsons and Futurama trivia. What's your favorite reference or quote from the shows? The conversation continues with Casey and Mitch sharing their hilarious anecdotes and clever references. <laughs> and that's it. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wait, I'm no, gonna no, say. Go back. Why? What? Uh, I went back to the secret level. I was gonna say Fred attacks Rove suddenly. <laughs> tears his face to shreds. <laughs> Speaking of mischievous monkeys, it seems that Fred has decided to join us. Wait, Fred, what are you- ah! <laughs> Yeah, we should have warned you about his mischievous side. He's a little bit like Poochie from The Simpsons. <laughs> <laughs> when are we gonna get to the fireworks factory? <laughs> Can someone please get Fred off me? Crew members rush to Rove's aid, trying to get- trying to gently coax Fred away from the host, but they are unsuccessful. <laughs> and then Casey says, don't worry Rove, Fred's harmless, just a little bit too excited about being on TV. And then Mitch says, yeah, he's just trying to impress Leela from Futurama. <laughs> I hope Leela is watching this because Fred is tearing my face off. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't have any more surprises for us. As the chaos settles down and Fred is safely removed from the stage, Rove and his guests continue the interview calmly. <laughs> and then it just ends with live television indeed. <laughs> I think that's a good stuff. Oh too. my god, we're that was hilarious. The, we're getting to the end of an hour. <sighs> Any final fun. thoughts on Trip's Voyage? Trip's Voyage was truly a voyage. I mean, I didn't get further than I got when I played it my, on my own, but it's it's a lot of fun. It controls really good. And See, what you gotta do with these kind of this prompts... This is a real game maker guy. What you gotta do with these prompts is if like the story is boring, you just say continue the story but add like <laughs> zombies or something, okay, okay. and it'll do, it'll do something hilarious. Alright. Game and Game and Chad. Game and- oh, Wait, we gotta do it simultaneously. Three, Ga two, one. Game, Game and Chad! That's our catchphrase. Our iconic catchphrase. 